Hello, today we are going to talk about hierarchical state machines, state charts. This style of hierarchical state machines was originally introduced by David Harrell in 1987 in a formalism that he calls state charts. This formalism didn't create the standard and so many people misinterpreted this paper and came up with many different implementations, which all had different semantics. In this video, two of them will be presented, history and non-history transitions in state charts. History transition can help describe very complicated behavior compactly, but uh, the number of states can get quite large. Non-history transition has less states, but uh, describing complicated behaviors is not so optimal with this method. What is an hierarchical state machine? Basically, it is a state machine in a state machine. In this case, we have a two-state state machine. We have states A and B. Uh, state B has a refinement which consists of states C and D. If, I'm a, if I am in a state B, uh, then I am actually in either C or D. Not both, just one of these two. Um, Harrell called state B an OR state because it's just a placeholder for being in one of the several other states. So, how many states does this state machine have? It's either three or four, depending uh, which semantic we use at this point. If we use history transitions, uh, then we have a four state machine. When I move from B to A in a top level machine, uh, then I can remember where I was uh, before in the B refinement. So if I return uh, from A to B, uh, then I can actually pick up where I left off in the refinement. For example, when I'm uh, at uh, state D in the refinement and uh, in a top level machine wish to move from B to A, like this, uh, then I can uh, return from A to B in a top-level machine uh, and uh, straightforward uh, get to state D in a refinement. What about reactions uh, when we have practically two state machines working in this way? Reaction. First the current state uh, reacts which uh, might be one of the refinement states and then the top-level machine reacts also. For example uh, when I'm in state B and the machine reacts both squared G1 and uh, G4 are both enabled, then the refinement reacts first. I go from C into D uh, and produce output A4. And uh, all after that, uh, higher level state machinery acts, goes from B to A and uh, produces output A1. A1 and A4 are produced at the same time. That should cover the basics of hierarchical state machines. If you wish to get some more information, then visit these sources. Thanks for watching.